Call me a block the way I'm busting near you. Hey, everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Game Skits today, and only today we are here, that's right, to talk about a debate that's sort of been going around the last few days, which has about, been about the Mario and Sonic movie. I've seen so many people, you know, go back and forth at each other, of like, oh, why can't this be like this? And, or, whoa, look, this guy got him shaking in their boots and all that. And I figured, you know what, listen, I'm a fan of both these franchises. You all know me, Mr. Sonic, Mr. Mario, in a lot of ways. I figured, you know what, I'll just sit here how one of these guys because it was just had a conversation video about something so i figured i'd just sort of sit here chime and give my thoughts on it you know what do i think about this what do i think is you know who's doing what better why i think it's also stupid to fully compare them and all that stuff so let's just sit down hang out have a good time also by the way i gotta start saying this more subscribe to your boy by the way please subscribe hit the like button because it shows me you know that you're enjoying the content and everything that i've been providing lately so make sure to do that for me all right help me out so i can grow so you can grow with me okay so we're just a few weeks away now from the mario movie releasing in fact actually it's going to be exactly like a year right after sonic movie 2 came out so it's sort of like this weird fun amalgamation of seeing how these two have been handled and again obviously a lot of opinions i feel like it's it's sort of funny to to be back in this sort of mini rivalry before mario and sonic because i feel like for a while it's it's been a long time that people have sort of been comparing mario and sonic i feel like it's been a long time since that's conversations even come up, which is probably a good thing but i feel like it's weird right i feel like in this situation in some ways this is healthy right box office competition for movies and stuff encourages the other movie you know to be better and top the other so in a lot of ways i'm happy about this you know i'm happy that these two exist right but there's obviously you know differences and things that make people want to appreciate something else about the movie right obviously the most number one thing is animation versus live action right obviously the mario movie is animated and it looks chef's kiss it looks immaculate it looks beautiful it is exactly how you know i would mentally interpret the mushroom kingdom and better you know just seeing how grandiose it is how alive it feels and all that like they've done an incredible job at animating it. and even just seeing again the characters themselves fully animated and all that stuff like it says to, to deny how beautiful the mario movie looks would be insane you know versus the sonic movie which has gone for the live action look which i think looks awesome like i think live action sonic looks amazing obviously when they fixed him you know i think knuckles looks incredible stuff like supersonic even tails you know a lot of you know the more mythical stuff from that look amazing in live action but obviously there's a value to animation i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and tell you i will i don't want a, a full animated sonic movie right now obviously we have something like sonic prime which is a show that's you know cj well 3d animated um but is in this case i feel like with sonic live action works more because let's explain it right i mean when you think about it right game like Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, uh, what's called Sonic Unleashed, you know, Sonic 06 even, like, there are a lot of Sonic games that are set just in the real world, I mean, even Sonic X as a series, right? Now, granted, are a lot of people's favorite elements of those games the human stuff? No, but it's not like a crazy concept for Sonic to be in the real world, right? It's, it's a setting that people that play the games are sort of familiar with and understand. So, I feel like in a lot of ways, Sonic movie makes more sense in live action, right? And I feel like again i feel like it, it just fits those characters in that world more because it's just been thematic in the games but also i'm not a psychopath like obviously i would adore a fully animated sonic movie could you imagine a sonic movie that looked on the level of you know sonic unleashed opening cutscene or even you know some of the frontier stuff what's called little cg looks that we got you know anything from Mars studio obviously they are incredible they are owned by sega so it's possible um or maybe if sonic you know entered the hyper stylized realm that we've been seeing with stuff like Spider-Verse, the TMNT movie coming up, Puss and Boots that people are, you know, raving about. Like, all this, you know, the modern new age animated movie that tends to, you know, go for, like, a crazy art style. I feel like Sonic would go stupid with that. I feel like, in general, Sonic can just adapt so well in so many different animated styles. So, again, I'm not crazy. I would love an animated Sonic movie, and the Mario movie looks incredible as an animated movie. But also, I think Mario movie would, wouldn't work as well, you know, with a live-action setting. You know, I feel like New Donk City is the exact what's called, you know, look of that. Like, it looks weird, right? Obviously, it's the point, but it definitely feels kind of weird uh, when you are in, you know, a basic New York City with Mario. And obviously, we're not going to talk about the old live-action Mario because that's... I don't even get that as, like, almost like 
a Mario movie. Obviously, it is, but you know what I mean. It's not the same thing as, like, if Mario was, like, a little animated dude uh, in real life. I feel like it just doesn't work as well with that character, especially if they went the route with him being silent or him talking. I don't know. It just it doesn't fit the same. Sonic, it works thematically with the games because we've seen it and all that. Now, even story-wise, right, you think about the very big differences between these two, right? When it comes to the Mario movie, right, we're getting sort of a half an original story. You know, obviously, we're getting Bowser kidnapping things, but it sort of feels like a celebration of Mario in a lot of ways, right? You're getting elements from Rainbow Road Incorporated in the story, you know? You're not getting Peach being kidnapped. If anything, I think Luigi is pretty much kidnapped this entire movie, and you gotta go save him. You know, you're getting Donkey Kong in there. So, it feels like a lot of stuff just from the Mario universe coming together, you know, and, and sort of, you know, building what this is going to be. But I feel like that story is just gonna be, you know, very fun. You know, it's gonna be a fun story. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be very, you know, cool. We're gonna see some cool action moments and all that. But, like, it feels like it's a very fun, loving story. Whereas, I feel like with Sonic movie, you know, you had movie one, which was more of a comedy movie. Like, I feel like movie one of Sonic falls more in line with the plot of, of Mario movie one, where, you know, Obviously not the exact same thing, but the stakes are lower, right? I feel like especially with Sonic Movie 1, that was a buddy cop movie that felt like, you know, Sonic was in it, right? He was a cool character in it, but it felt like a buddy cop movie. Whereas Sonic Movie 2, what I always say, right? That shit was a Sonic movie, right? That was incorporating specific plot lines from, you know, the video game series. Whereas Mario's not really doing that. Like besides Bowser, you know, you know, being the villain, right? It's like, it's not a direct storyline they're translating. Whereas with Sonic Movie, they are, you know, and they're adapting multiple sort of at once, right? With Sonic Movie 2, we got, you know, technically Sonic 2 and 3, the games adapted. You know, we finally get Tails joining Sonic. You get stuff like the Death Egg in there. And not just that, you're getting Knuckles. And again, Knuckles is following the same plot line as the game, you know, where he is being manipulated by Dr. Eggman, right? So, you know, so you're seeing just in general, like this, not amalgamation, but like you're seeing one series where the story is adapting, right? We're obviously going to get Shadow the Hedgehog, which is going to be awesome. I can't wait. We got stuff like, you know, the Chaos Emeralds. It feels like it's adapting stuff, you know, one-to-one to, -one to where the games are going and where it's headed, you know, with Gun and Shadow. Obviously, there's a lot of new elements in there, you know, with the different characters we have and all that, but it's following a specific plot line. I appreciate that. I think it leads to, you know, more raw energy, right? And I feel like that's something else Sonic movie has over Mario movie. Like, it's definitely more raw. And what I mean by that, obviously, you haven't seen the Mario movie yet, but we've seen a lot of clips and it's going to, you know, be like, oh, these are like some cool, fun fights. Whereas, like, with Sonic movie, especially Sonic movie 2, right? Like, that fight with Knuckles and Sonic it like it feels brutal right super sonic destroying the death egg feels fire you know the sonic heroes teaming up together is awesome it's like there's so many more like raw moments and then i think the mario movie is going to have sick moments like come on that dk versus mario fight looks awesome you've got all the power-ups in there you've got the rainbow road segment which looks super cool like i just i think you know like i said these two have differences it feels like with mario you're going and you're getting like a fun celebration you know of the mushroom kingdom of the mario universe right whereas with sonic movie you're getting something that, you know, is just taking elements, you know, from the series that work and translating it into a movie and following the plot lines of those games, you know, to sort of create something and, and bring life to it in a lot of ways. Whereas with Mario movie, we're sort of going to get something we don't get in the games, which is, you know, a story. You know, mainline Mario games are not known for their story. It's, it's Save the Princess, that's it, right? So I feel like with one, we're getting, you know, an adaption with some twists and the other one is, hey, let's celebrate this entire series. Now, obviously... I'm excited for both. I am happy that both exist in a lot of ways. Now, what I will say, though, music-wise, right? Shame on Universal, right? Shame on Universal. Two Sonic movies in, and we have barely any Sonic-style music, you know, to be recognized in there in any shape or form. Whereas with the Mario movie, oh my god, they are knocking it out of the park. Every scene has different renditions of Mario songs. You know, even the latest trailer, you had you know, the 1-2 Cave remix. You know, you hear Captain Toad's theme remix in there. You're hearing all the different themes from the series incorporated into the world. Now, again, it's an animated movie. It's more whimsical. I get it, right? But And Sonic movie is in real life, so maybe those tracks don't always work. But to deny that they could have done some crazy orchestrated remixes of a lot of Sonic tracks so far, you know, no doubt. And they've shown that they've, they are able to do it. Like, there's a Green Hill remix, you know, uh, that they have a bit of in Sonic movie 1. There's, I believe, Emerald Dill or one of the other zones, you know, in Sonic 2. Like, they have the power to do it. And even the drowning
running theme you hear a bit in the water segment of Sonic Movie 2. Like, there's elements of it, but they gotta lean more into that because Mario Movie is killing with that in spades, and I need to see that incorporated with Sonic Movie. Please, Sega. And honestly, marketing-wise, I mean, I feel like they're both hitting the same notes, especially when it comes to Sonic Movie 2. I think that's also a big difference here. It's like, with Sonic Movie 1, we had that rocky start, right, where obviously, you know, we had ugly Sonic. Um, I think a big difference is, you know, between Illumination and Mario is like, even Mario, right, before it was even shown, everyone was doubting it. They were like, Illumination, fart jokes, this, that, that. That was almost that, this movie's version of ugly Sonic, you know, where people just had this idea of what this was gonna be, right? But then when it was, like, really revealed, like, Mario movie was fully revealed, and Sonic movie was even revealed with the new design. It felt like everything changed for these two. And in a lot of ways, it always felt like everything is going up for him, you know, like, posters doing super well, you know, ideas, you know, it's called plot lines, they're adapting everything. In a good way, I'm so happy that both of these exist, and I'm so happy about how different they are, right? Again, I think the key difference, right, is that I don't think I want to see Mario in live action, but I do want to eventually see Sonic in an animated form, but I do think for what the Sonic movies are doing, I think live action works perfectly well for them and i genuinely cannot wait to see what they do with messiah movie there i think shadow is going to be raw i think a lot of that fight is going to be so sick with supersonic and super shadow there's going to be so many cool elements i can't wait to see how they handle gun and maria and all this stuff that you know is starting to brew in the pot but i just there's a lot more to the sonic cinematic universe that we have yet to see uh but you know i would love to see an animated part of that but with mario movie you know i'm also excited because like right from the get-go we are getting a beautiful and animated rendition of you know the mushroom kingdom and even nintendo as a whole universe you know we we we, we know that there's like a punch out uh pizzeria in the in the brooklyn area of it and i wonder if that's going to be a hub for other nintendo franchises we'll see where that goes but yeah i just wanted to chime in give a few of my thoughts on the conversation and yeah that's really about it so guys let me know what you think you know what what, what do you think you know are you more excited for a mario movie than you were sonic movie do you love them both are you upset about one over there do you like more you know one's direction over the other let me know what you think let me know which one you know you're excited for if you're excited for both you know the drill you know the way peace out i love you